Hey everybody, it's Jamie here and welcome back to another video. So 10 years after her release and 5 years after I got her, Tiana is finally coming out of the box. So she was released in 2010 by the Disney Store as the second doll in the entire series right after Snow White and retailed at $100. I got her later in 2005, uh, sorry, 2015 and paid roughly six times more than her original price but she was worth it all the hours of double shift waiting tables was worth it for you tiana girl okay so let's take a look at the box first so the box design it has purple patterns with lily pads and frogs all over and she is posed in the box beautifully with naveen and i really love the way her dress is packaged too on the bottom it says limited edition one of 5,000 Princess Tiana. And it has Ray on it as well, so that was very cute. Here is the side window. Back then, the side window panels designs pretty much had the same, I think. I believe the first bell and Rapunzel had the same pa uh, patterns. On the back, it says the princess and the frog, and it talks about the doll and the character in various different languages. All right, now time to take her out. She's a little stiff though. All of her packaging seems very stiff. And it's so cool that back then, even the inner window plastic uh, thingy had the colored borders. Right now it's all white, but they had color back then. And here is my sparkly foil metallic certificate of authenticity. Mine is 18. 98 out of 5,000. Alright, so like always, let's take a mental ph photograph of her and remember her original pose in the box because once I take her out, she will never get back to this pose. Now it's time to take her out. So I tried my best to debox her as carefully as I can and kept all the packaging because I don't have space to display her so she might just end up going back into the box to keep away from the dust. And here is the background art of her box. It's really gorgeous. It's the bayou and I think it's from the concept art and it's really clear and sharp. Sometimes Disney does really pixelated backgrounds but this one is pretty nice. Okay, for the veil thingy, it, this part is a little loose, so I'm not sure if I'm supposed to tighten it or leave it that way. But it looks okay, so I'm going to leave it. And this part is a little smushed because of the wire passing through into her bun from the packaging. And of course, the rest of the veil. I mean, it's been packed in this box for 10 years, so I completely understand that. Just have to unravel and see how it is. And I'm sorry, I didn't think I would be in the frame that much, but I was, so. And here was my big gut in it as well. While I'm doing the 360 view of the doll, in my head, I thought I was out of the frame. I was like, I'm so tiny, I'm probably not being shown on the camera, but my entire gut is there, so. Again, the veil, I think I'll just have to steam it later on to kind of remove all the creases in there. Like always, let's start from the top and work our way to the bottom. So her face is gorgeous. I really love this face sculpt of Tiana, even though she has a closed mouth and Tiana was like laughing a lot during her human scenes, but I think it still does definitely captures her personality. And her hair, so her hair is interesting. So the bun is made up of more um, straight hair, I suppose. And it has some little Afro puff around that bun to give that textured hair. So it's pretty nice. And she also has her little dangly curly pieces there as well. Um, two on the left side and one on the right side and one on the back even. So that's very cute. So her expression is pretty. She's glancing to the side at Naveen because she's like, do I really have to kiss this frog? Well, I guess I have to. <laughs> so it's really cute the way it's um, uh, posed in the box. And she, her eyebrow is slightly arched on the other side to give it that little, you know, 
like she's thinking if I should really kiss this frog or not. So I really like that expression in there instead of a usual smiling beauty mug. Oh my god, I used mug. I've been watching Drag Race too much. <laughs> and her lipstick, it's it's pretty... I don't know how to call this color. It's like dark plum, dark purple. I don't know. And she also has her tiara, which is iridescent. So if you move it in the light, it has some colors in it as well. And I love the fact that it even has those little pollen thingies on there as well with little jewel beads at the end. And she comes with full jewelry and accessories so she has a little dangly earring and it's not like a plastic stud or fixed in there it actually is dangly so she has her metal little clasp that's going into her ear and then she has a little dangly blue diamond there as well she also comes with a necklace and i love this necklace it's not a sculpted piece um, it's like a little beaded necklace just like in the movie but uh, they also gave her that same blue gem like on her earring so I like that touch all right let's move on to the back of her veil so this veil of course because it's a wedding scene so I it's a wedding veil and again I'm not really sure if I should tighten it up but it's attached with a ribbon around her bun but I actually like the position of the little circle piece already so I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna leave it that way if I tie a knit I think it goes up too much all right let's move on to her dress so her dress is li literally one of the most detailed Disney limited edition doll dresses ever it has so many layers and so much detail to look at so first up she have these little uh, flower petal piece here the three of them and then she also has the darker green layer, which are the leaves of the lily pads um, trimmed with some little, I don't even know how to call them, like little trims. <laughs> and then on top of that, she has a sheer organza layer in a lighter shade of teal, I think, to complete the petals. And of course, all over, she has her gems. And underneath all of that, she also has like a plain tube top as well. And we have our gloves. So our gloves are actually made with really nice material. It feels very soft and smooth and it kind of has an ombre effect. It starts out green and then it um, eventually blends into white. And then Naveen is attached to her hand. I thought it was just attached with rubber bands. So I was really surprised to find out that he has this little clip there as well on his butt. It is coming out of his butt. So. <laughs> but it's uh, it just slides into her hand so you can pose her uh, you can pose him in her hand even without the rubber bands that's pretty dope and here is just a little close-up look at Naveen it's sculpted very nice painted very nice as well sometimes for smaller figures the paint job can be a little wonky but for him all the paint stayed in their own lines and where they're supposed to be and my favorite part about him is his little puckering lips he's ready to kiss y'all all right, so let's move on to the rest of her dress. So on this side, on her waist, she has this beautiful white flower and it has so many layers to make up the petals. And in the center, it even has like little pearls there, three of them there. So that's gorgeous. And I love the leaves as well. They're very detailed with all the veins and they feel kind of velvety. And it also has like a little stem that goes downwards as well. All right, so now let's move on to the main part of her dress. So just like the rest of her outfit, it's extremely detailed with so many layers. So we'll go through layer by layer. So for the main part, she has her green petals and then her flower petals and a sh little shimmery layer and a solid yellow layer and accompanied with two layers of fishnet petticoats. That's right, actual petticoats, no stuffings in there. So. Uh, for the green layer, it's uh, constructed similarly like the top. And okay, I'll go through the layers first. So one, two, three, four. And the fifth one is the main big one on the back. And it touches with Velcro on the back. And it has two layers, all separate. So it has the sheer light teal layer and a lighter green satin underneath. And it has uh, white and green gems all over it. 
So interestingly, for this part, it has an additional fishnet petticoat here, like a little peplum. And I, um, maybe they put it there because this side needed maybe more support because the other one does not have that one. So underneath, the, the layer, this is, uh, you know, it's not a full skirt, but it's constructed very cleverly. And it still, you know, holds an Ellie Worthy quality to it because you cannot really tell at all. And so um, the rest underneath is a plain yellow layer, but just when the petals stop, they kind of mimic the effect of the layers there with the flower petals here. It's white, but has like a green ombre touch in the middle. And I love the texture too, it has creases in it. And then we have this little accordion pleated uh, sheer yellow layer here as well, it's sparkly. And then of course underneath all that is the main solid yellow piece here. And underneath she has two layers of these fishnet petticoats. Uh, the first layer is longer and the other one is a little shorter underneath. And this is her stand. So the older stands, the base is a little thicker than what we are used to now. But the rest is the same. It's a saddle stand. Now here comes my favorite part on the entire doll. So her shoes. Her shoes are so amazingly detailed and so amazingly unique. It's not even a mold that they've been using on other dolls. It's a unique mold just for her exactly like in the movie and I love the fact that I even have the little uh, leaves and a little flower there along with the little tiny polum thingies pointing out as well with a little uh, the jeweled beads on the top and that for me is what makes a limited edition doll it's like the attention to detail the shoe is not even visible in the box it's all all buried underneath the skirt but the fact that they went all out and made this shoe so detailed is just beyond amazing for me. Because compared to now, you don't really see that anymore. I mean, shoes are the least of Disney's worries when it comes to making these dolls. They're like, just hide it under the dress and we'll give her a nice, simple, plain black flats. I'm looking at you, Queen Anna. I can't get over the shoe, so I'm trying to give you a... 360 look here as well in my makeshift turntable. All right, let's move on to her articulation. So she does have the usual hip and knee joints, but I'm not going to show them to you because I don't want to crease the dress if I lift it up. But she moves at her, of course, neck and she has a, uh, uh, what, a torso joint as well that kind of swivels. And then she has wrists, elbows, and shoulders. So these older dolls, they kind of have a different joint compared to what we have now. And they are very stiff and very difficult to move, I think. It doesn't have a lot of posability. I mean, they don't, they can't really bend that much. So, I mean, that's, you know, that's the old dolls and their old joints. So overall, I think Tiana is really like the, uh, the, the shining, defining example of what Disney is capable of in their limited edition dolls. And I know Disney has been killing it lately, especially with their sex dolls, but I don't consider them a part of this line because they are priced considerably higher. So of course, the quality has to match that as well. I'm talking about dolls in the main series in their, you know, the standard price. Um, they've increased the price to 130 now. But the 130 price is not matching the quality of this doll of being priced at $100. But I know this doll is 10 years old. So in that time period, I think the cost to make a doll has gone up considerably as well. So, you know, I have to give Disney that credit when it's due. But still, uh, this doll is like the epitome of what Disney limited edition dolls should and could be. I love her so much and I'm so glad that I finally decided to take her out of the box because I cannot wait to take lots of photos with her and I'm kind of scared right now too because I was always scared to debox the older dolls but now that I've started with Tiana I might just fall into a rabbit hole and start deboxing the other dolls too Rapunzel, Snow White, Mother Gothel and you know all the older ones so let's see let's see how that goes but right now, thank you so much for watching. So that was it on my review and unboxing of the limited edition Tiana doll. 
from the Disney Store from 2010. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below as well. If you have Tiana and if you haven't deboxed her yet, I strongly recommend that you do because the details and her beauty can only be enjoyed to the fullest maximum if you take her out of the box. So I can't wait to take photos of her and post her on my Instagram at ShameMeCreates so you can follow me on Instagram to see lots of toy photography content. You can thumbs up and like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe on my YouTube channel to get more toy video content in your video feeds. But aside from that, thank you so much for watching. Um, stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you all soon in my next video. Bye!